It's 8 a.m. Live Local. Your Fox 29 Morning News starts now. We're all trying to save money in this economy, and one way to put thousands of dollars back into your pocket every year is to cut down on what you're paying for your home insurance. Sherry Olofsson is a lawyer and author of The Great American Do-Over, and she joins us now to tell us how we can do this. Good morning. Good morning, Lauren. Th this is possible, then, to Absolutely. really cut that bill down. Absolutely, and particularly here in South Florida, where insurance is so high. So how do we do it? What's our first step, what you say? Easy tips. The Insurance Institute tells us that the lowest lying fruit is your deductible. Mm. Now, by raising your deductible, for example, from $500 to $1,000, you can save as much as 25% on your premium. Wow. And you should not be using your insurance for small things anyway. So that's tip number one. Okay. Tip number two is look at purchasing multiple policies of insurance, your car insurance and your home insurance, for example, from the same company. They'll often give you discounts for that. Bundling. Right, exactly. What they call it, I exactly. think. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Tip number three, ask about what types of home improvements you can do that would reduce the cost of your policy. So the insurance company is looking, for example, for anything that's going to reduce the risk of something happening and mm -hmm. them having to pay out. That includes installing burglar alarms. It includes upgrading electric and roof systems and things like that. You can get significant policy discounts by, by simply doing that. Also, you want to look at any unneeded insurance you may have. For okay. example, I love this one. A woman wrote in that she found out she had been insuring a fur coat that she gave away to charity five years ago. So check out that. And last, you want to pull out that policy at least on an annual basis. I actually do this the day after New Year's. I look at all my insurance policies for these types of things and shop around. Make sure that you can get some discounts and see how you can save. Yeah, I was going to say, most people probably keep like with their car insurance, they probably keep their same home insurance policy for possibly years, if not Exactly. Decades. You know, there's all that fine print, all those codes, it's intimidating, and we figure we have to have it anyway for the bank. As long as the bank is happy, we're happy. But in these times, you want to save money anywhere you can, especially on big ticket items like insurance. Can you barter with these companies? I mean, can you say, hey, here's a quote, or fax them a quote you got from someone else to try to get your carrier down a little bit, or is it sort of, this is the price, take it or leave it? Generally not, but the big thing is you want to compare apples to apples, mm -hmm. because there are so many variations, like some of the things that we just talked about, you want to make sure that you're looking at the same thing. Okay, wow, got some good advice. Pull out that policy and save some big bucks. Make some calls, save yeah. a lot of money. Sherry, thanks so much. Sure. We'll see you in our next segment. And now back to you.